Well, good afternoon and thanks for choosing Carity on News Channel 13 at 5 o'clock. I'm Heather Skoll. And I'm Bart Bedsoll. Andrew Womack Ministries in Woodland Park is feeling vindicated tonight for violating state health orders on mask wearing and building capacity during a conference earlier this month. A decision last Thursday by a Denver federal judge supported a similar stance taken by two Denver area churches. Carity on News Channel 13, Scott Harrison is live in Colorado Springs with more on that ruling and the response from Andrew Womack Ministries. Well, that Denver federal judge found in favor of the Denver Bible Church and the Community Baptist Church, who, whose pastors believe that the health orders violated their constitutional right to freedom of religion. Let's take you to video now of a couple of those churches, of the two churches involved. Now, the federal judge said the Constitution doesn't allow a state to tell a church how large it can be when non-religious gatherings don't have similar limits and a congregation can't be told that its reason for wanting to take masks off isn't as important as the reason of a business to do so. One of the attorneys representing Andrew Womack Ministries spoke with us about the ruling. I'm very pleased with this decision. The judge got it right on the First Amendment, which is what we've been saying from the very beginning. First Amendment prohibits discriminatory treatment between these non-religious gatherings and religious gatherings, and that's what has been the case from the very first. Now, it's unclear whether the judge's ruling applies only to the two churches in the case or to all churches, but the judge ruled that the two Denver area churches could violate mask orders if those pastors felt masks interfere with the effectiveness of gatherings and that building capacities could be exceeded because many big box stores don't have those limits. Now the state is appealing the judge's ruling in that case. Coming up at six, we're going to hear from a constitutional law attorney and from an associate law professor at CU to analyze the decision and what implications it may carry going forward. We are live in Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.